all the way from Austin, Texas. He's ripping up talk radio all across America. Alex, welcome to On the Edge. Max Kaiser, thanks for having me on. All right, Alex Jones, um, you've been very vocal on your shows about how America is inviting the military into the U.S., uh, which is a violation of, uh, of the law, of the Constitution. And we, re we recently discovered that Dick Cheney was uh, staging an event uh, to, in fact, uh, uh, accelerate this violation of the law. Can you talk about that a little bit? That's right. It turned out that uh, Dick Cheney wanted to set a precedent to abolish Posse Comitatus, the 1878 law saying that regular army can't engage in law enforcement uh, activities because everybody knows that's what happens in uh, tyrannical authoritarian uh, nations and it turned out the people that he also wanted to use the military against were mainly American citizens and it turned out patsies completely innocent and now under the guise of uh, drunk driving car accidents uh, some counties in Alabama and New York are now quote declaring martial law uh, with daytime and nighttime curfews checkpoints uh, the mayor of Schenectady, New York, wants to call the army in. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, is asking to go under martial law. So the feds are coming in, we've discovered, and actually telling the counties and cities to ask for this to set the precedent. So this really started under Bill Clinton, went wild under George W. Bush, and is now expanding under Barack H. Obama because these presidents are really just frontmen puppets. The military-industrial complex brags and some of their white papers that they're owned and paid for by, by big offshore banks like Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan, and uh, that they're actually taking the United States into receivership right now with gunboat diplomacy, similar to what the United States and England have done in the past hundred years to scores of third world nations uh, that is now happening to the United States. So we have a military banking co coup. So, Alex, uh, what you're describing from outside of the United States is quite clear. Now, why don't the Americans themselves seem to be responding to this? They are responding. It's just the mainstream media demonizes you or doesn't cover uh, the citizens that are saying no. Every time the military shows up unannounced and sets up checkpoints in the heartland of the country, regular Army, regular Marines searching people, actually local newspapers come out, take photos, decry it, point out that it's a total police state, something out of Guatemala uh, or North Korea. But uh, it never really makes it in the national news, or if it does, they say it's a good thing to keep you safe. But uh, we are seeing citizens more and more everywhere with spontaneous demonstrations, uh, spontaneously shouting down politicians, Republican and Democrat, across the board. Uh, every congressman and woman that tries to go out and give a speech now is shouted down and chased from the building. Every major speech across the country from Austin, Texas, uh, to New York, to Florida, uh, from Delaware to California, from Oregon to Michigan, it's happening. This is so exciting. Uh, right here, Governor Rick Perry, every time he gives a major speech, is booed off the podium by Republicans and Democrats, Libertarians, it doesn't matter. Uh, Congressman Doggett was chased out of a grocery store where he was giving a speech to only his constituents that he'd mailed letters to. They try to say this is all staged. The Democrats say it's staged by uh, Republicans, and the Republicans say when their people get chased out, it's staged by Democrats. But we've been to these events. We've had camera people at these events. Uh, we've had listeners send us the raw video from these events. This is totally spontaneous, and, and now the media is having to admit it is spontaneous, so they're talking about it being illegal to chant or shout down a congressman. They're now talking about it might be terrorism, might have to ban uh, disagreeing with a congressperson. So uh, they're really beginning to get scared here as the veneer of their control evaporates and as the people find out that the majority of their fellow citizens are angry. We're seeing uh, you know, bushfire rebellions uh, everywhere against tyranny across the board. I mean, politicians have been caught lying so much here and involved in so much corporate looting and corruption that if Barack Obama uh, or even the Republicans, any of these major leaders, come out and say the sky is blue and the sun is yellow and the grass is green, the public uh, doesn't believe them. And so there is a complete collapse of confidence 
happening right now, the likes of which no one has ever seen in this country. I talked to Ron Paul a couple days ago, and Ron Paul said he has never seen anything approaching this in his 20-plus years in Congress. Uh, this is definitely revolution in the air here in the United States. Max Kaiser. All right, Alex Jones, you're in Texas. Ron Paul is in Texas. Texas has a famous phrase, don't mess with Texas. Is this really a Texas phenomenon? Is it, was it birthed in Texas? And is it spreading to the rest of the world? Or the rest of the country, anyway? It has been noted that Austin, Texas is probably the capital of North America when it comes to the resistance against the globalists, against the oligarchs, against the private banking crime syndicates of Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan Chase and others. But no, this is going on everywhere, every state, everywhere, as the people discover uh, that the majority of their friends, family, and neighbors have had enough as well. And as the corporate media lies and says the economy's great, green shoots have turned into great you know, fields of, of uh, milk and honey, uh, as we see massive layoffs, as we see the housing slump continue, the people are insulted by the propaganda. All right, green shoots. What do you see on the ground in Austin, Texas? We see reports here in Europe of uh, Americans now living in tent cities. The pantry uh, are getting, the lines are getting longer at the pantries. The homelessness is uh, skyrocketing. Unemployment, of course, is rising. What do you see on the ground there in Texas and Austin and around the country? Well, Texas, because we have oil and some other industry and, and farming, we're not as bad as some states, but, but it, it's very serious here. You go into neighborhoods, uh, wealthy neighborhoods, working class neighborhoods, and you know every third house is up for sale and people can't sell or they're selling for greatly reduced prices. Many businesses have closed their doors. Uh, you see a lot more homeless people on the streets. And I've sent camera crews out across the country. We've posted the video up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com of these Hoovervilles. Remember what happened in the Great Depression, these tent cities expanding all over the United States, in Dallas, Texas, in Houston, Texas, in Los Angeles, in Sacramento, California, in Detroit, Michigan. You know, Alex Jones, the other thing expanding in America is the military and the military budget. Well, that's right. Uh, for every $30 that goes to the trillion-plus dollar defense budget, or more than half the military expenditure in the world here in the United States, uh, for every uh, $30 that goes to the defense budget, and that goes to the offshore banks, one dollar on average of chicken feed uh, is given uh, to the public uh, in some type of stimulus. And so we just see the military industrial complex now uh, with private mercenary groups training local police, uh, not just federalizing our local governments, but actually bringing in the mercs, bringing in the freebooting uh, pirates who are just descending on us, hordes of private security guards, directed by big defense contractor companies. What, we, what, what we're converting to is a military-industrial complex prison economy where we were already the capital of the world for imprisoned uh, citizens, but now it's just mushrooming with giant prisons, private, federal, and state opening everywhere, giant Merc armies expanding, uh, Blackwater and others aiding the police in marijuana raids. Okay, let me, uh, let, is... me just, let me interrupt and ask you about on this uh, notion and this idea of uh, mercenaries, Eric Prince and Blackwater. Supposedly, this guy allegedly murdered a few people. 